Alright then, so now we've seen how to sign new users up by using this function right here, create user with email and password. Now I'd like to show you how users can be logged out and also logged in. So by default, when we create a new user using this function, Firebase automatically logs them in after they've signed up. So at this moment, a user would be considered to be logged in. So the first thing we'll look at is logging out. Now I've already created a bit of code inside index.html to take care of logging in and logging out. First, at the very bottom, we have this button with a class of logout and that just says logout. So we're gonna click on this to log the user out. We also have a login form as well with a class of login. We have a label for the email and we have an input for the email with a name of email right here, a label for the password and an input for the password as well and a login button to submit the form. So we also have event listeners set up inside our index.js file. We have the logout button right here, which we get via the query selector. And then on that, we add event listener, which is the click event. Remember, we're just clicking on this button, not submitting a form. So we're gonna to react to that to log a user out. Then we grab the login form using the query selector and we add an event listener, this time to be a submit event since we're submitting the form. Then we prevent the default action using the event object right here. So the first thing we're gonna look at is signing the user out. So to begin with, we need to import a function to do this right at the top. So after this, I'm gonna do sign out like so. That's the function we need to use to sign out or log out a user. And then down here inside this event listener function, if I can find it, this one right here, we need to use that function to sign the user out. So all I need to do is say sign out and then we pass in the auth object. Remember, that's stored in a constant up here when we initialize the auth service. So we pass in auth, and then this signs the user out. Now it's asynchronous and it returns a promise, so we can tack on a then method if we want to, and fire a function once this is done. And I can just say console.log the user signed out. And then also we can tack on a catch block if we want to as well spell this correctly dot catch and that will fire a function if there's any kind of error and we'll log that out to the console as well so console dot log error dot message like so and that's it that's all there is to signing a user out so let's give this a whirl first of all okay so since in the last lesson i signed up using the email mario at netninja.dev when i signed up Firebase automatically logged me in. So I'm currently logged in in Firebase's eyes. Now, if I log out over here, then it's gonna log me out. Now, nothing much is gonna happen in our website, but we will see that message over here saying user logged out. So let's click on this and we can see the user signed out. So this is all working. That's how easy it is to sign a user out. Next, let's take a look at how we can log the user back in again. So to do this again, we need to import a function and this is another long one. So let's import it, sign in this time with email and password. All right, so let me just change this to a comma and then grab this long ass method. So I don't have to type it out again. And then let's come down here to the last form submission and I wanna use this function to sign the user in. So let me paste it in and inside here we pass in three arguments. First of all, our auth constant, then an email and then a password. So we need to grab the values of the email and passwords from these inputs. So let's do that first of all. I'm gonna say const email is equal to login form dot email. That's the name of the input dot value. And then after that, I'll say const password is equal to login form dot password dot value. So now we have those two values, I can pass them in as arguments, the email first, then the password, and that signs the user in. Now, since this is asynchronous and it returns a promise, we can tack on a then method to fire a function when this is complete. And again, much like when we signed a user up over here, we get the user credential back of that user who's just signed in. So we can take that into the callback function and then we can log out the user if we want to. So I'll say console.log user logged in and then we'll output credential.user. Remember, we use the user property to get the user object. All right, we can also tack on a catch block as well to catch any kind of error in a callback function. And this is gonna fire if maybe the password is incorrect 
or the email doesn't exist for that user, etc. So we'll just log that error to the console, error.message, like so. And that's pretty much all there is to it. So let's give this a whirl. All right then, so first of all, I'm gonna try and log in as a user that doesn't exist. So Luigi at netninja.dev, and then I'll say test for the password and try to log in. And we should get an error back and it says the user is not found. All right, so let's try Mario instead and then try signing up or rather logging in. And um, we should get a different error. It says wrong password this time because test is not the password. But if I type test12345, which is the password, I should log in and we should see that user object. And we can see that right here, awesome. So we can see that the email right here of the current user logged in is mario at netninja.dev. Now I can log out again. If I click on log out, then it says the user signed out, awesome. So we've seen now my friends, how we can sign users up, how to log them in and log them out. And when they're logged in, we can get access to this user object with things like their email on. And we could use that inside our template, if you like, on the web page. So we could have some kind of nav bar that says something like, hello Mario at netninja.dev and display that in the actual HTML code. Now we're not gonna do that in this tutorial, we'll leave that for another day. I just wanna let you know that this is the kind of things that you can do with this user object. 